Sunday Showcase on ABC, presented by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Since the calendar flipped to 2022, only Phoenix has a better record than the two teams meeting today at TD Garden. As the Celtics honor Kevin Garnett by retiring his number five jersey, they welcome the Dallas Mavericks. Jason Tatum averaging 40 points per game over his last five. Luka Doncic averaging 35 over his last 12 and two game winning shots against the Celtics in the last calendar year. With Hall of Famer Hubie Brown, I'm Dave Pash. They're honoring KG, a lot going on. Oh, a lot of players from love that 08 team that was a great defensive team. The Celtics playing great defense right That's now right. and great offense, Jason Tatum on a roll. Well, you like him, 6'8", averaging 26. He's also getting your eight rebounds, and he has a total package. A three-point game, the mid-range will take you strong to the basket, can finish with either hand, and when he gets fouled, he's an 85% foul shooter. He's a total guy that you want to make the last shot for you if the game is on the line. That was his fourth career 50-point game a week ago against Brooklyn. Meanwhile, Luka Doncic... MVP favorite coming into the year and playing like an MVP right now. Well, anytime you say 28 points, nine rebounds, eight assists, I think he's doing that, Dave. There's very few that he has to take second place to. Starting lineups delivered by Taco Bell. Dallas at 41 and 26, winning five of the last six. An injury, or actually Reggie Bullock out because of personal reasons. So Dinwiddie will start. Came over in a trade at the deadline, just his 11th game as a Maverick. Fourth start with Paul, Luca, Finney, Smith, and Brunson. And for the Celtics, at 41 and 27, winners of five in a row, 16 of 18. It's the same five: Brown, Horford, Tatum, Smart, and Robert Williams the third has been a huge presence in the middle defensively for the number one team in the NBA in defense, the Boston Celtics. When you look back. The month of January was a welcome sight to both of these teams because from that time until today, they are both been dominating either on home or on the road. Cassidy Hubbard will join us in a little bit to talk more about that and what these teams have been able to do over the last two months. 14 games left for Boston. 